Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Barry Swindler. I'm a chiropractor in Wake Forest, North Carolina. I'm going to be talking to you today about calcium metabolism and the problems people have with the uh, calcium metabolism, therefore the lack of calcium being absorbed. Um, I want to refer you to my uh, contact information if you need to contact me. Uh, there's my phone number, my website of course is chiropractorwakeforest.com. So there's that information if you need it. Uh, talking to you today about calcium metabolism. Uh, people take calcium supplements uh, depending on what kind, um, but more importantly we have to think about is that supplement or nutrient being absorbed. So I'm going to talk about uh, really three things that need to take place in order for calcium to be absorbed in the body and therefore have your body use it. Uh, first we have to look at stomach function. Uh, you can take the best supplements in the world, but if your body is not absorbing them, uh, it's not doing you any good. Uh, one of the first things I look for in my patients when I treat them, especially for systemic conditions uh, such as osteoporosis or migraines or what have you, I look at how well the gastrointestinal tract is working. And the first place I start is the stomach. And our stomach uh, makes uh, hydrochloric acid. Our stomach should have a pH around 1 or 2. That is very acidic. And it's important for the stomach to have that proper acidity. If it doesn't, uh, you're not going to be absorbing your nutrients. If you're not absorbing your nutrients, you're, that's going to lead to degenerative conditions and diseases. Like I said, hydrochloric acid is produced by the stomach. It has to be produced, uh, have that pH in order for nutrients to be absorbed, whether it be calcium, B vitamins, or what have you. Uh, some of the conditions that people have with this could be uh, women could have menstrual cramps, uh, uh, hives, uh, osteoporosis, uh, any stiffness in the morning. Uh, muscles, when you wake up in the morning, your muscles are stiff and achy. Um, it could be due to um, lack of hydrochloric acid. We need the hydrochloric acid to, to break down protein. Um, if the protein does not get broken down, you can develop things like arthritis. Anytime um, protein is being stolen from a joint because the body is not absorbing the protein, you can get arthritis in your joints, ulcers in your stomach, colitis in your colon, bursitis in your bursa, uh, and even sinusitis in your sinuses. And um, what happens with the, especially with joints, uh, the body will steal the protein from the joint and actually it'll deposit calcium. Um, so there, there's the importance of having proper hydrochloric acid in your stomach to make sure you don't have this Robin Peter to pay Paul effect. One thing that should be mentioned here is calcium will not deposit in your joints or, or anywhere else uh, in an alkaline environment. Um, so that, that calcium absorption is very important and the, and the need for hydrochloric acid. Um, with hydrochloric acid and calcium metabolism, um, a couple of things is very important. I'm going to refer to the diagram here. One, HCL, HCL stands for hydrochloric acid. Vitamin F, that is your essential fatty acids. Those are things like fish oils, black currant seed oil, barrage oil, flaxseed oil, and many of the other omega-3 and omega-6s. And by the way, those omega-3s and omega-6s need to be in balance. Um, and also a good calcium source. I use calcium lactate. Um, calcium lactate is um, not just my opinion, but many other professionals that are like-minded uh, like the calcium lactate because it's an ionizable calcium. It, it is absorbed better in the body. Um, and here, here's how this works with, with calcium, vitamin F, and vitamin D. Uh, vitamin F, essential fatty acids, is needed in order to carry calcium from the blood. This area here is the blood, the blood into the cell. Now, vitamin D is needed to take calcium out of the cell and put it back into the blood. So you can see they are antagonistic or they work uh, against each other, so to speak. Um, so that's the importance of one, hydrochloric acid in your stomach so it's digesting those, absorbing those nutrients, as well as the vitamin F, so you can get the calcium out of the blood into the cell and when needed out of the cell into the, uh, into the blood. Um, 
one of the conditions with uh, faulty calcium metabolism is people that go out in the sun and they get uh, sunburned. Uh, what's happening here is we're get, we get vitamin D from the sun. Um, people get a lot of vitamin D, so what it actually is doing is it's pulling that calcium out of the cell and bringing it into the blood. This could result in cramping or many other uh, conditions in the body. For people that, you know, it's here mid-May, summer's coming up, people would be best to uh, make sure they have plenty of vitamin F, fish oil, black currant seed oil, and calcium, taking that before they go out in the sun. That's going to help because as I just said, vitamin D from the sun is going to be pulling calcium out of the cell and into the blood. But if we have vitamin F and calcium, we're making sure that we're getting that, that calcium back into the cell. Now, uh, as I mentioned before, some of the symptoms and conditions with calcium metabolism problems is one of them is uh, people that wake up in the morning, hard to get out of bed, their muscles are stiff and achy, that's a definite need for, uh, for calcium. Uh, hives is another one. Um, children and adults do get hives. Uh, this is clearly a need for hydrochloric acid, the vitamin F, and the calcium. Uh, herpes is another big condition, um, both type 1 and type 2. Uh, this is a, a, a need for calcium. Uh, it's, no one wants to have herpes. It's a kind of a blessing in disguise if you have this because if you get a, a breakout, whether it be genital or on your face, uh, like a cold sore, uh, the body's telling you that you need calcium. Um, so as long as your calcium um, is at proper levels, you're not going to have that, that breakout. Um, another condition that I see in women, especially women that are menstruating, with menstrual cramps, um, women that have... Uh, premenstrual cramping or even menstrual cramping, some, some uh, that can be so intense that they are bedridden uh, or just really don't want to do anything. These women are, are best to take calcium uh, supplements, preferably calcium lactate um, from Standard Process or another good company a couple days before they, uh, they start menstruation. Um, their life is going to be so much better without those cramps. Um, good to take the calcium lactate. Um, osteoporosis is another condition or disease. Um, osteoporosis is mainly found in women later on in life and there's a reason for this. Um, I want to mention that after the age of 25 our body produces less and less hydrochloric acid. So this is why people as they get up in years if you will start developing conditions or diseases like osteoporosis. It's a bone softening condition. So actually what the body is doing is the body is not getting the calcium being absorbed through the gut because the, the hydrochloric acid is not being produced or it's not being supplemented in the diet. So the body is robbing Peter to pay Paul. The body is going to rob the calcium from the bones and therefore leave them brittle and people if they have a slip and fall, especially the elderly, they can uh, have a fracture, fracture their leg or uh, fracture an arm bone, and it's due to that uh, the body pulling the calcium out of the bone. Um, so in conclusion here, I just want to mention about calcium metabolism, uh, three main important things. One is stomach function. Is the body producing hydrochloric acid in order to break down uh, all, the, uh, all the nutrients and absorb them and also vitamin F. You get vitamin F is going to pull calcium out of the blood into the cell and also you need a good source of calcium such as calcium lactate. Um, speaking of calcium, there's many many calcium supplements out there. Uh, one of them is uh, calcium carbonate. Uh, depending on where you get your supplements, um, a lot of companies ca carry calcium carbonate. It's not a good calcium uh, it's good for neutralizing the acid in your stomach because that's what we see in products like Tums and Rolates. It's good for neutralizing the acid but it's not good for uh, absorbing uh, and getting uh, what the body needs. Um, that's all I want to say on calcium metabolism. 
thanks for watching. If you need to contact me, again, here's my information, chiropractorwakeforest.com. Um, thanks for watching.